Hey guys, welcome back to the Empty Nest Reborn Doll Nursery. Uh, I've got a couple of kit reviews I'm going to do for you today, guys. Um, I haven't done any of these, so I thought I would throw a couple of kit reviews in. This is some future babies that I'm going to be working on. Uh, this is these both of these I'm going to show you is out of the uh, from Bountiful Baby, out of the Real Born series. Um, they're the ones that's done. I don't know exactly how they're done, guys, but they're done with a uh, somehow they take a picture of a like a real baby and they scan it through something, a computer, I guess, or whatever. But these are they're these are made from actual uh, real babies uh, pictures. These sculpts are. And I, it somehow does a, I guess like a 3D image or something on the computer. I'm not sure exactly how they're made. But anyway, they're from the Real Born series. And this particular one is called Anna Asleep. Uh, I wanted just to see this one, guys. Um, she's really pretty. I think she's going to make a, a, a nice, beautiful baby. This one is uh, you know, Sleeping Anna. And... Uh, and she's got real pretty lips. See her lips? She's got a, a her lip is uh, thicker on the bottom and thinner on the top. And um, she's got a little bit of expression here, kind of like with a, see how the eyes are kind of like they're drawn in. Like a, you know, I don't know if you can see that in there. It's kind of got like two little places here on each side, kind of like she's got her eyes kind of, her brows rather, I should say, kind of squinted down, you know. And that's, that's her little head. Good size baby head, too. I mean, the head's good size. You know. Okay, I'll let you see her leg. This is one of her legs. It's uh, kind of slightly bent. Uh, I don't know if the camera will pick it up or not. But this is what I love about the Real Born series, guys. The detail that's in these is just amazing. Uh, look at the... The wrinkles and all that in the foot. And then up here you've got all these little wrinkles. Cute little toes. And then up in the leg you can see. Look at all the, the little. This is a real deep wrinkle in there. A real deep one. And then here's some more little fat rolls. Very cute. That's one leg. Here's the other one. Uh, I don't know. Let me compare. They're kind of bent the same way on both sides. And bent a little bit. And then you have the deep wrinkle in here too. Just like the other with the flat, fat rolls. But now they're not exactly alike. You can see they've got different little fat rolls. But they've both got the little fat rolls. And uh, then of course the little foot. All the little wrinkles. You see that? So that's going to be a future baby. Here's the little arm. I'm thinking these have probably got the full arms and the full legs, I believe. Because usually all of them in the uh, Real Born series does. Not all of them, but most all of them. It has, uh, you know, the full arms and the full legs. And that's looking like a full arm and a full leg. So I think it is. She's got chunky little arms. See this? They're, they're going to be chunky. Little chunky arms. Um, and then the wrinkles, of course, here. Can you see them? Cute. And then that little balled up fist, almost balled up. This one has got the thumb in like that, and this other finger, and then these two fingers are, you know, away from there. So it, it's it's not exactly a kind of like that. Not exactly a full fist. She's got lots and lots of wrinkles in here in her hands. And here's the other one. It's completely balled up, a complete balled up fist. All the wrinkles. Look at this. Look at the wrinkles in there. Isn't that pretty? I mean, it's just amazing to me. And uh, it, there's so much detail in these kits. And guys, at Bountiful Baby, uh, for these kits, you know, as as much detail and stuffs in them, you can't beat the price. They're like um, fifty nine, I think, ninety five. Just might as well say sixty plus shipping. You have to pay shipping on them. And I think I'll, any shipping on Bountiful Baby, I think, is seven. Seven fifty or seven ninety five, something like that. So for the price of these, you really can't beat it. And they've got they're so detailed, you you can't beat it. But anyway, <coughs> excuse me. She's got a all these beautiful little wrinkles in her hand. 
I mean, her forearm here. Underarm, not forearm. And then she's got wrinkledy hands here, too. And then her, her, she's got a fist on this one. Like this top finger here is covering up the thumb. Like that. I hope you can see it. But her arms is going to be chunky like. You can see they're pretty big. They're going to be chunky. Okay, this, I'll show you one more time on the face. This is the Sleeping Anna kit. She runs, I think, $59.95 on Bountiful Baby in the Realborn series, and then you have to pay shipping. She also got a little, uh, I was feeling on top of her head, she's got a little fontanelle here too. So, the little dip here in the soft spot, fontanelle. She has that too, so that's neat. And this ear is just, I was noticing on this, it's rounded. And this ear's got kind of a little bitty fold to it. You see that? Which, that, that happens in a lot of babies. I've seen a lot of babies with the ears are folded at the top a little bit. I don't know what causes that. I don't know where it's like where they're in the mama and they kind of their ears kind of, you know, get folded that way. I'm not sure. But I've seen lots of babies like that. But her little ear on this side's got a little bit of fold into it. And I'll show you her that, her, that face one more time. That is the... Sleeping Anna. Okay, let me put this up here, guys, and I'm going to bring out another one and show you. I'm going to show you two today. This is Future Babies I've got to make. This one is called, and he's got, he's kind of a little bit misshapen there, but that's okay. That'll come out uh, when I heat it up. I can I can put some um, stuffing in there or whatever to hold it. And then when it cools, it'll, it'll it'll come back out. It's okay. It's not too bad that it won't come out. This one is the um, Aspen Awake Bountiful Baby Real Born Series. This is Aspen Awake. Now his head uh, is a lot smaller than Anna's. I'm going to show you the head difference size. Uh, compare the two. See how much smaller his head is than hers. He's got a, a lot smaller head than she does. You can see the difference comparing them. And um, he's in the wake baby, of course. He has to have the eyes. Uh, in the little corners of his eyes, he's actually got, looks like little tear ducts there. And tiny little bitty, tiny little nose. And I'll show you around on his ears. He's got some wrinkles and a huge chin wrinkles. And the little ears are just, they're both, both pretty much the same. And he also has the fontanelle. And he also has like a, you can see just, that jets out just a little bit. The, you know, where the crown, I'm not the crown, but the skull bones comes out a little bit right here. He has that a little bit. Here are the legs uh, to him. One of them is, uh, I'll show you this one first. It's pretty straight, not completely straight, but a lot straighter than the other kit there. Um, he's more of a smaller baby. The other Anna is more chunkier, like a chunkier, fatter baby. He's he's more of a smaller, like a little smaller baby. Uh, the legs are, are pretty skinny on him. And one of them is outstretched quite a lot, but not completely straight out. But quite a lot to the other one. The other one's, the other Anna is just more, they're more bent. These are, you know, stretched out a little bit further than hers. He's also got bunches of fat wrinkles right in here. Uh, fat rolls, I should say. Little wrinkles with fat rolls. And then his little feet, of course, is just that wonderful detailing on these kits with all those wrinkles on the feet. And he's got one little toe raised up. But look at the look at the wrinkles on this one on the foot. Let me get it up real close. Hopefully the camera will focus and you can see that. Look at the wrinkles on that. Isn't that pretty? I mean, that just that looks so realistic. These kits are these bountiful babies stepping it up, guys. They're getting up there. And I'm going to show you the difference compared in the feet. Uh, I mean, in the legs. They're kind of about the same. They're stretched out about the same on both sides. And um, little fat rolls. And the feet. Now, this one's not as detailed as this other one. I want you to look at the other one. 
it's got some wrinkles, but not like on that. Does look at that one at the wrinkles through there. I mean, that's a lot. Now this one has some, but not that many. And these little toes turned up on that too. So there's the the legs, and now I'm gonna show you the arms to this one. Uh, smaller arms definitely than the Anna asleep. I'll show you the difference in the chunky arm and his little arm. Now, now see Anna's chunky arm. She's got a real chunky arm there on top, guys. Up here, it's just real chunky. And you can see the difference in his little bitty arm. They're kind of little skinny arms. He's also a full limb, I'm pretty sure. And, um, so on him, on this, it would be his right arm. You can see it's got like places here for wrinkles and all that. And then he's got this little hand fisted up. It's in a fist. Kind of like this. This, you know, fist. That would be his right arm. And his left arm has almost fisted all the way except for this finger. And he's got this finger up. But again, you can see the, just all the, the wrinkles and stuff that's in here. The creases, the fat rolls. It just... It's just unreal. Got a lot of wrinkles right in here in his wrist. Very pretty kits. Very pretty. These are just two I've got right now um, that I'm going to be doing uh, in a future babies. This is Anna Asleep and Aspen Awake. And you can see, I'm going to let you have one more look at them, guys, at the difference in the head size and stuff. He's 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 pretty smaller to compared to Anna. He's a lot smaller. But anyway, there are two kit reviews. I wanted to go over them with you guys. I've got some more. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> My little head rolled away. <laughs> Sorry about that. But I've got two more. And also the vinyl coloring on these are different too. You can look at this one, Anna. And she is really, really pale, pale, pale kit, guys. A pale kit. And uh, Aspen has a little bit more color to his vinyl. He's more of a uh, little bit of a pinkish color to him but of course I always do neutralizing now according to this I'm not gonna have to do much neutralizing to Anna because she's just snow white as it is but I think on him I'll probably have to do a few layers of neutralizing because he does have a pinkish uh, vinyl and I mean if you if you don't mind that I mean you know if you like the color you can leave it as is and you don't have to neutralize it but I just always do the neutralizing if they've got a lot of color to them well I do it anyways but you know, I put it probably still put at least one layer on her, even though she's really pale. I still do maybe one layer. I don't know. Then again, I look at her and I don't know if I will or not. She's just really white. Probably won't. This one will definitely have to have a few layers of uh, neutralizing. Like I said, unless you like that little pinkish color. But I like to start off just with a really pale, pale white. And that way, you know, it don't interfere with my colors that I put on the babies. So there is two kit reviews for you guys to see. And um, next week I'm going to get in a, um, I'm going to start painting for sure. Next week I'm going to start painting a, uh, I've got a custom coming up on it. And I'm going to start painting a um, Joseph Awake kit out of the Realborn series. And I think I'm going to do, uh, start a painting series. When I start with him, I'm going to do a painting series. And, and I'm going to let you guys um uh, you know, watch me paint the kit. I'm hoping to do it from start to finish. Um, and that way, you know, uh, everybody can see if they want to how to paint a reborn. Now, I know we've got several of these on, on different, you know, places there that they do this. But I thought I'd do my own painting series and um, kind of give me something to do and something to talk about on here. So, I think I'm going to start a painting series. That'll be next week when I start that because I have to wait to get my kits. Um, I'll, I'll get those next week. I've got a couple, three, four, maybe more kits coming in uh, to do as customs. I also have, uh, oh, I don't know, uh, one, two, three, four, five, maybe five more over here waiting on me and these two. And I've got probably three more coming in that are customs right now. So um, I thought maybe next week I would start a painting series with those and let you guys you know, I'll try to, um, I'm, I don't want to call it a tutorial, um, but I'm going to try to go step by step through it with you guys. 
Um, and so if some of you, you know, haven't figured out how to, you know, they can't learn, haven't learned how to paint one, they want to paint one, you can paint along with me. So that's what my series is going to be. It's going to be, uh, you know, not exactly a tutorial, but just kind of a paint along with me series. And uh, I'm going to start that probably next week. Okay, guys, that's all I got for today. I just wanted to do a quick uh, couple of kit reviews here and let you see these babies that I've got. Future babies is going to be. And uh, so I'll be putting on more videos before I get started on the painting. But anybody that's interested in the painting series, stay tuned for that. It'll probably start next week. I'll try to start it next week. And uh, you guys can come and paint along with me next week. Okay, guys. Um, I guess that's it. And I'll talk to you in another video tomorrow. And um, I guess that's all i got to say. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. I appreciate you. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.